I started an AI side hustle and earned over $30,000 on Fiverr. In today's video, I will show you how to start this side hustle that can earn you $100 a day and how to automate the entire process. If you're interested in making passive income, watch until the end because I promise this video will provide valuable information you won't find anywhere else. But you will say, hey, it is showing $69,000. I know, but this is from my other gig which I will show in the next upcoming video. I came across this idea while scrolling on Fiverr for potential passive income ideas. Then I found this gig, which is a short form video service. You might say, okay, what's interesting about it? After doing my research, I was shocked by the numbers these sellers make by providing simple service like this. As you can see, this gig has gotten over 700 reviews and nine orders in queue, and they are charging $20, $40, and even $50, depending on the service, the client orders, which means they had already earned between $14,000 to $36,000 just based on the buyers who have left review. Let's see another one. This seller has gotten 450 reviews and six orders in the queue, charging between $15 and $100. This gig alone has earned this seller between $7,000 to $46,000. Keep in mind that the given number is only from those who took the time to leave a review. And according to a post on Fiverr forum, only 67% of buyers actually leave reviews, so it could mean the earnings are 33% higher. As you can see in my dashboard, I only have 56 rated orders. The craziest is that you can publish these gigs 100% free on Fiverr. Then I said, okay, why not start a short captioning service using CapCut, publish it on Fiverr, and start an easy side hustle that can make me an extra $100 a day? Now, when I started this gig, it only had 1,500 services available, which is not that many. But right now, you can see there are still so many new sellers that are actually making sales. I mean, if this guy is getting sales with a thumbnail like this, I am pretty sure you will too. And if you can make a thumbnail, something like this and this, you can absolutely destroy the competition. We'll get to discussing how to create thumbnails in a moment. But first, let's learn how to edit videos and automate the process. For this demonstration, I'll be using two videos that I downloaded from YouTube, but you should use the videos that you have received from your clients on Fiverr. Please note that this is not an editing tutorial. Instead, I'll be showing you how to automate the process. For this, I will be using CapCut, which is free to download. Just head over to Google and type CapCut for Windows, go to the first link and click on download. Let's go to the first step. I have opened the CapCut right here and all we are going to do is come up here and click on new project. Now you will come to this area. Just click on import and choose the video now. The video will appear here. All you have to do now is drag and drop it here if your client has provided you with a different dimension video, all you have to do is click on this and choose the option 9 by 16 ratio. And now the best part is you can create the captions just by simply going to the text tab and then going to auto captions. You can choose the language you want to create the captions in. I will just leave it in English and now just click on create. You don't need to type the sentence word by word because CapCut will auto generate the captions. So after the text has been generated, I recommend first going through the whole video and taking a look at the captions if everything has been generated correctly. Also, ask the client for the transcript to check the spelling. You can easily just click on the text on the timeline and edit it. But now we have a problem. As you can see, the words are not capitalized. And if we use the monstrous font, we really need to capitalize each and every word because it is not automatically capitalized. Don't worry, I have the solution for this as well. Just go to Google and type the bold font, click on the first link and download it from here. I will leave the link in the description as well. Go to the search icon and type font go here and just drag and drop your font here. It is done now. Back to CapCut app and restart it. Don't worry, CapCut has an auto save feature so you don't have to do all these steps again. Now, just click the font and you will find it somewhere here. Now select the first caption and make sure this blue box is checked. What this will do is whatever changes you make here, it would apply to all the captions. I will leave the color to white and I will also increase the size to 10, stroke to 30, 
and now I change the shadow opacity to 100, blurriness to 70, distance to 15, and angle to 10. Now, this is looking pretty good as you can see all the settings have been applied to all the captions. If you follow or know these big influencers, you must have seen their Instagram reels or TikTok videos. The one thing they all do is highlight the important words. You can do that as well. So let's say you want to highlight this word. Click on the caption and then go to the split icon. Now your caption is split in two parts. And let's say you want to highlight the first part, uncheck this blue box and select the text. I will change it to yellow and now the second part, I will change it to yellow as well. Now let's see, it looks pretty cool, not gonna lie. But we can make it even cooler by adding emoji. Let's go to Google and type emojisilent.com. Here you can download all emojis. Let's download these ones as I think these are more suitable for my video. Now I will just go to import and select all these emojis. So now you can just simply drag and drop these emojis wherever you want. I will add it here. You can also change the size and position. I will just add it here. Let me speed up the process. In the link description, I have attached a free file that you guys can download where you will find all emojis and important icons so you don't have to download emojis one by one. After you are done adding the emojis, now you have to add animations to the text and emojis so the video looks more engaging. Just select whichever part you want to animate and then click on the animation tab. There are lots of animations that you can use, but the most common ones that clients ask are slide up, zoom in, and slide down. I will quickly add now animations to my emojis and text. And now we need to emphasize certain words and emojis by adding sound effects. Just click on the audio tab, then sound effect. Here you will find all the different options, but I will tell you the most commonly used ones. Those are ding, swish, and whoosh. Now select whichever sound effect you want. Simply drag and drop on the timeline. I will quickly add them now. It is done now. Let's see how it looks plane is the $1,000 first class plane ticket. But here's the thing. For me, this is pretty good. And now just click on export. Now for the bonus tip, if you want to stand out from your competition, consider providing several fonts with each order because you can literally do it in under two minutes. Also try adding funny memes and gifs. So now let's talk about how to create a thumbnail and publish your gig. First, just go to Canva. Click on create design type YouTube thumbnail. This is the same dimension as the fiber gig thumbnail. Now go to elements and search iPhone frames, select this and drag and drop it here. Then go to Google type Alex Harmozy Instagram reels, go to images and select anyone and save it. I will choose this. Then come back to Canva click on upload, select the image. After it is uploaded, simply drag and drop on top of this frame. Now come back to elements and choose this iPhone frame and drag it on your canvas. Let me just adjust this side. Now just simply place this frame under the iPhone frame. Now this looks good. Now we have to add a background image and then we just need to add some text. Just go here and type background. I will choose this one. Let me layer it at the bottom. Now we just need to add some text like these and we're all set. Let me just add an arrow symbol so it looks more appealing. Now just click on share and download the image. Now you just have to go to Fiverr, click on become a seller. And then when you are on the dashboard, click on create a gig and that is it. You can use chat GPT for the gig title and description. I will leave that up to you because I don't want the video to be very long and there are many videos on YouTube on how to use chat GPT. The good thing about this side hustle is that you only have to work when you have an order. This means you get paid for every minute you spend working. 
you don't have to invest any money or work a lot first and wait to get paid later like other businesses. You can also reach out to micro-influencers on Instagram and offer your services to them. In the description, I have attached a sample influencer outreach template that you guys can use to contact the influencers. Hope you guys like the video. If you find any value in the video, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for future videos.